Welcome back here at Cardines. Phil's uh, post-game report continues. Now joined by Newport Gulls hitting coach Al Ava. Coach, a tough loss here tonight for the Newport Gulls, and Newport is the New Bedford Bay Sox proved to be a tough team to beat two nights in a row. Yes, uh, you know they just they were able to see the hits go through, and today we didn't. But we, you know we put some balls in play, but right at somebody today. Coach, uh, the goals now look forward to tomorrow. Oh, this is a tough stretch here, and it's just the first tough stretch, really, for a lot of tough stretches they'll have throughout the season. they got to get used to it now. Three out of four days on the road at Sanford two nights ago and New Bedford last night, home here tonight, and now tomorrow they go on the road to Laconia, a team that uh, dealt them their first loss of the se season on Saturday. Right, yeah. It's, you know, this is it's a grind. You know, um, our pitching coach probably says it the best. You know, it's a grind. Uh, 42 day, 42 games, and you know, yeah, you might have a rain out, and then you got to go back to back, and um, there might be a stretch that we might play 14, 15 games in a row. And but you know, these guys are in condition; they're ready for that kind of stuff, and we just hope we're on the good side of it, and not the bad side of it. Tonight, Coach, uh, well, last night in New Bedford, it was the walks that hurt the goals here tonight. Uh, it was the Bay Sox, once again, stringing some hits together, and uh, that was the difference. Despite the hit column being even, both teams in the double digits in the hit column. You know, yeah, some, you know, it's you want to put the ball in heart. Like I tell our hitters, put the ball in play, usually good things will happen. And today, you know, they saw the holes a lot more than we did today. You know, they got some, some you know, they battled just like we did, but they got, they got the better of us today. And finally, Coach, you did see uh, three players make their goals debut tonight, two pitchers and the goals new catcher out of Boston College. Yes, you know, it's we're, we're starting to get everybody in. I think we're only missing uh, one player now, uh, possibly two. So now so now we'll be able to start going. And, and, we'll, and we're still figuring out as a coaching staff, you know, where to put slot guys in. You know, is he a closer? Is he a middle relief guy? Is he a starter? Um, is he an everyday player? So we're, we're figuring that out, you know, and usually that's what the month of June is all about. And then uh, July, you start, you know, you start setting your lineup, and then you get ready for the stretch run. Newport Coles hitting coach Al Laver. Thanks for joining us here on the post hearing report. Tough loss tonight. Looking to rebound tomorrow in Laconia. We'll see you then. Thank you. We'll be back in a moment to wrap things up next. The Newport Coles post hearing report continues here on the NECBL Broadcast Network. <laughs> 